When Americans go to the supermarket, they see thousands of high-quality food and household products, from healthy, nutritious fruits and vegetables to the clothes we wear, even the morning newspaper. Many of us take these items for granted. In fact, you'll be amazed at the amount of agricultural research that's gone into the products in your shopping cart. This research not only provides products that enhance our lives, it also creates new jobs for American businesses, as well as new markets at home and abroad for America's farmers, and helps reduce our nation's trade deficit. It's estimated that every federal dollar spent on agricultural research returns a dollar and a half to the taxpayer. The new products you're about to see are examples of the scientific endeavors of the Agricultural Research Service the principal research arm of the U.S. Department of Agriculture and one of four agencies in USDA's research, education, and economics mission area. ARS is charged with developing the technology to ensure the availability of a high-quality, safe food supply and other vital agricultural products through production practices that preserve the environment. Americans have the highest quality, most nutritious food supply of any nation on Earth. Yet we pay out a much smaller percentage of our income to purchase that food than anywhere else in the world. Each year, dozens of improved products and new varieties of fruits, nuts, and vegetables emerge from the laboratories and greenhouses of the Agricultural Research Service. For example, few Americans are aware that the apples we purchase are the result of intensive breeding efforts. ARS also collects and preserves apple gene stock from around the world for breeding programs. Our research overcame strict trade barriers to certify American apples pest-free. This opened lucrative overseas markets, particularly in Japan. ARS research has brought us carrots that pack twice the vitamin A and beta carotene as their predecessors did 30 years ago. And every head of iceberg lettuce you'll find in a supermarket owes its parentage to the work of ARS plant breeders. Using techniques such as embryo culture, ARS researchers have released new disease and pest-resistant peach varieties that thrive as far north as central Pennsylvania. ARS scientists have developed other plant varieties, better crop management strategies and harvesting techniques that have opened up new markets and greatly expanded the production of strawberries, blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries. For weight-conscious peanut lovers, ARS has also found ways to remove part of the oil from the peanut without serious loss of flavor. For connoisseurs of salsa and spicy foods, ARS scientists bred a new cayenne pepper that's 20 times hotter than the typical cayenne. Over the years, ARS scientists have made major improvements to the wheat varieties grown in the U.S constantly increasing yields while staying one step ahead of the continually adapting diseases and insect pests, like the Hessian fly, which attack this vital but vulnerable crop. Fifty years ago, frozen orange juice was a flavorless commercial flop. ARS researchers worked with the Florida Citrus Commission to develop a technique that restores fresh flavor to reconstituted orange juice, a breakthrough for consumers and growers. Imagine a new, all-natural mozzarella cheese that contains less than 10% fat. That's less than half the fat content of regular mozzarella. ARS scientists developed just such a cheese and gave it superior melting qualities on pizza and other popular foods. They also altered a bacterium used to make cheese and yogurt. The bacterium produces an enzyme that breaks down lactose in milk. Now millions of lactose intolerant Americans can take advantage of the protein and vitamin benefits found in dairy products. More than 70% of all citrus fruits grown in the United States are varieties developed by the ARS citrus breeding program. In Florida, we've developed higher yielding, disease resistant, cold tolerant citrus varieties that have better color and last longer on grocery shelves. Citrus sections can now be pre-peeled by a patented ARS process that uses commercially available food-grade enzymes. 
ARS scientists developed America's most popular red seedless grape, flame seedless, and bushels of new improved potato varieties such as Atlantic, which makes potato chips with a lower fat content than any other variety. While you won't see the name Atlantic on a menu or label, it has become the nation's number one chipping potato. Cultivated rice, a billion dollar annual crop with high export sales, is grown mainly in six states, Arkansas, California, Louisiana, Texas, Mississippi, and Missouri. ARS scientists developed many new rice varieties tailored to the different growing conditions of these states. Just two ARS varieties, Lamont and Gulfmont, now account for 30% of all the rice grown in four states. ARS research is not confined to plants alone. Americans love turkey, but few realize the birds sold today little resemble those of 50 years ago. An extensive ARS breeding program produced the Beltsville Small White, a moderately small bird with lots of white meat. Today, virtually all turkeys sold in the U.S. owe part of their genetics to the Beltsville Small White. Keeping dangerous microorganisms out of poultry is a long-standing ARS research goal. We've developed a method for injecting good bacteria into incubating eggs to prevent salmonella bacteria from taking hold. And since today's consumers want leaner beef, ARS scientists at several laboratories across the nation are identifying marker genes associated with fat. This will help cattlemen identify the breeding animals that will produce the leanest beef for consumers. Grandma was right. Oats are good for you, and they can help lower your cholesterol. An ARS chemist created a low-calorie, cholesterol-fighting fat substitute called Otrim from soluble oat fiber. Otrim reduces cholesterol and lowers blood glucose linked to diabetes. In five short years, this excellent fat replacement technology has been transferred from lab to grocery store, and now is listed on the label of hundreds of products as hydrolyzed oat bran. One of the greatest food success stories of the 20th century is the soybean. Most soybean varieties have the Agricultural Research Service in their pedigree. Between 1980 and 1994, ARS scientists released 66 varieties and 280 breeding lines of soybeans. Why are so many needed? Because the miraculous soybean is used in a vast array of consumer products, and scientists are finding new uses every year. Soybeans have found their way into an eye-opening number of foods, from infant formulas to granola bars. And soy oil is the most widely used edible oil in the United States. Thanks to ARS research, soybeans have been incorporated into a growing list of non-food products as well. These range from your morning newspaper, printed with soy oil-based ink, to lipstick, plastics, flooring, paints, and stain-removing cleaners. How much vitamin A should a 15-year-old boy get? Does a 50-year-old woman need as much protein as her 62-year-old husband? ARS nutrition scientists are seeking answers to these questions and a host of others that affect the health of Americans. Our scientists provide the background data for the recommended daily allowances for nutrients and the food guide pyramid that you see on the sides of cereal boxes. ARS research is in your closet, too. Cotton is the fabric of choice for millions of Americans, but that hasn't always been the case. In the early 1950s, ARS scientists developed THPC, a compound that prevents cotton fabrics from igniting when held in a flame. Shrink resistance and permanent press technologies from ARS, along with THPC, make cotton one of the safest as well as most comfortable clothing fabrics. Environmentally friendly products have also come in for their share of attention. Less friendly, petroleum-based plastics now take up about 25% of the volume of landfills. But knives, forks, and spoons made from a starch polyester material won't contribute to the problem, thanks to ARS innovation. Various biodegradable starch polyester compositions can be used for other one-time use items, such as plastic bags and wraps, that are otherwise made from petroleum. 
Starch is the main constituent of grains, and three and a half billion pounds of cornstarch alone are produced each year for non-food purposes. Over the years, ARS has developed many new uses for cornstarch. One of the most important is a patented absorbent called Super Slurper that absorbs 2,000 times its own weight in water. Again, you won't see its name on the label, but Super Slurper now can be found in such diverse products as batteries, fuel filters, baby powders, disposable diapers, and wound dressings. The major ingredient in almost all commercial insect repellents today is DEET. DEET was developed by ARS scientists decades ago and remains the most effective repellent compound available for mosquitoes, biting flies, ticks, and chiggers. Fresh cut flowers are a multi-billion dollar market in the U.S., much of which is supplied by foreign countries. To reduce imports and expand domestic flower production, ARS geneticists have provided the U.S. flower industry with promising new varieties. One of the greatest ARS success stories ever was pharmaceutical in nature. In 1928, Scottish bacteriologist Alexander Fleming discovered a mold with bacteria-killing powers so incredible it was effective even when diluted 800 times. But millions of people continued to die from common infections because there were no means of mass-producing the active compound, penicillin. Scientists at what would become the ARS National Center for Agricultural Utilization in Peoria, Illinois, tackled the problem in 1941, dramatically increasing penicillin yields. But the real breakthrough came the following year, 1942, when the researchers isolated a superior strain of penicillium mold from a rotting cantaloupe. Penicillin production skyrocketed, and the miracle drug saved the lives of thousands of Allied soldiers who hit the beaches of Normandy and the South Pacific in World War II. And millions of lives have been saved since then, thanks to the innovation of agricultural scientists. The need for research is constant. As new foreign competition challenges U.S. markets, Agricultural research helps American growers and manufacturers compete. As diseases and insect pests adapt and mutate, research provides environmentally safe solutions, such as resistant crop varieties and sound management practices. Agricultural research leads to new commodity-based products, which reduce surpluses and increase U.S. exports, helping to bring down the balance of trade deficit. Most important of all, Agricultural research ensures that Americans continue to enjoy the most abundant, affordable, safe, and nutritious food of any country in the world. The bottom line is, agricultural research yields a healthy return enjoyed by all Americans. So the next time you go to the supermarket, you know there's more than just a basket of groceries here. There's science in your shopping cart.